All right, you guys, today we're going in and we're cleaning these pans. Look at this, this is years, 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 years upon baked on goodness and memories and love all up in these pans. You may be saying, why are you in a bathroom? Because I have four kids and I know they will not get into it down here, but we're gonna put a bunch of concoctions and stuff on here to hopefully get this off. The less scrubbing, the better, always in my book. Now you may say, why don't you just throw them away? And I very well may, but I wanna give them one last stitch effort. Now you guys, I don't mind that my pans look like this. Like this does not bother me. I'm so used to them at this point, but I would imagine if people come over to my house, they're like, girl, go buy a new pan or clean your pans, you're dirty. <laughs> I don't know, whatever the case may be. Let's give them one last love here and see if we can get these cleaned up. I mean, they're looking pretty bad. I mean, bad. Guys, me and my husband have been together for over 15 years and I think he had this pizza pan um, even in college before I met him. So like, these are like heirlooms, you all. These are heirlooms, but this is what we're gonna do today. Um, got some hydrogen peroxide we're gonna be using. And then I got some onion powder. Yeah, my onion powder is white. Just kidding, you guys. This is baking soda. I put it in here. I've cleaned it out so it doesn't smell like onions anymore. Uh, but I love the little sifter action right here and I don't have to buy anything. So this is awesome. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna give this a good coat. I'm gonna let this sit for like two hours <laughs> and see if we can get this cleaned up any. Now let's just not do the ridges right here because I wanna have a good comparison of what it looked like before. It's easy to forget. I've cleaned my stove upstairs. You guys have probably seen several videos on that and I don't think the grease had ever been cleaned since this house was built. I mean, honestly, that's what I think. And we bought this house two years ago. So it's been a slow transition of removing 20 plus years of grease, and I found some really good methods uh, to do that here. Okay, baking soda. I got a glove here. I can maybe use my glove. Should we get a glove out? Why not? I buy these from the Dollar Tree uh, because, well, they work well, and who doesn't love, so this is interesting to do one-handed. <laughs> who doesn't love things that are a dollar? I don't know, seems like fun. Pour this on here. Actually, you guys, should we do an experiment? I love experiment. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. I wasn't planning on this, but this is gonna be even better. Okay, hydrogen peroxide and baking soda on this side, and baking soda and let me go get it. Dun dun dun! One of my top three cleaning products. Just watch this. Is that not satisfying? That carbon dioxide gas. Like when I see that, I'm like. Oh yeah, it's really getting in there. I've cleaned cutting boards with this same combination right here. I don't know that this is gonna do it, but maybe it's a matter of me letting it sit on there longer. I'm kind of thinking this one's gonna do a better job, but let's just see. Um, here we go. Like This just makes me think, so I think it's gonna clean better because of that. And it smells uh, delicious. Now I often will save this and use this as actually the scrubber, which is really nice because you can kind of squeeze it and get any of that re uh, remaining lemon juice out of there. Oh yeah, we got some seeds in there, it's okay. It's all good. But if I can clean these like 20 plus year old pans with any of these methods, I'm gonna be super impressed. Super, super, super impressed. Guys, a lot of cleaning videos that you will see on the internet when they're doing this, especially if they're not doing any talking like this, they're switching out pans and putting brand new ones in so you think that the process has actually worked. Yes, I have blown your cover. Oh, we don't do that. We don't want to do that either. I want this. See, I'm getting distracted here. It's true, you guys. You'll see stuff like this all the time. You're like, wow, that pan got so clean. They switched it out to make it look so awesome. And then you go home to your house and you're like, well, that didn't work. How do I know that? Because I've done them. I've probably watched almost every single cleaning video on the internet. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit more of this because I don't know, less is not more in this case. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna swirl this around, get it all up in here in the pan, make a good paste. I probably should put a little bit more baking soda on there. There we go. And this one's pretty covered. I'll, I'll clean this glove off and then I'll swirl that side as well. So it's all up in there. See this? I really do think it needs more baking soda. Probably like a, 
really good paste. I did put quite a bit of the hydrogen peroxide in here. There's so many different uses for hydrogen peroxide. It's amazing. I will think, I think I'll make a video on that. If you don't have lemons laying around, they have citric acid. I've used this to clean toilets and toilet tanks. In fact, this toilet tank right here. Um, and you can buy it for canning, canning reasons. That's why a lot of people use citric acid, dry citric acid in a, in a jar. Okay, this is going, so again, I'm gonna let this sit two hours. We're gonna come back. I have used regular old scrubbing pads on this and this was not coming out. Like this really needs something to lift this grease, uh, much like my stove, my gas stove and the grates on there. All right, so I'm gonna clean the glove, swirl this around, two hours, come back, let's see what we're doing. Looky, looky, what do we have here? All right, it's the next day. Look at this, I took the seeds out of the tray here. It's completely dry. <laughs> this is the lemon and the baking soda. This is the, uh, oh, it's a, okay, maybe it's not completely dry. Look at that, oh, look at that. Okay, this one was the hydrogen peroxide in the baking soda. And it's like this white film. Like, I'm like, man, it's really stuck up on there. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set you up on my tripod. Again, we're in the bathroom because this is where we do business. We're gonna clean this off. I am gonna use these Brillo pads. These Brillo pads do not do the trick by themselves when your pans and your bakeware have gotten this far gone. I'm gonna get a glove. I'm crossing my fingers that one of these strategies have worked. If it does not for some reason, you know, I got a backup plan in my sleeve. Survey says, now that has some brown water. I mean, so we got some of it up, but look at this pan. The only place that really looks like it should be the original is right in here. The rest of it, not so great. And I did have to put a decent amount of elbow grease in there. So if you got something like this, the baking soda and the lemon is probably not gonna cut it. Let's go in with this one. Now this water looks dirtier to me. Here's the pan. Still doesn't look like I want it to. And I'm not gonna scrub for, scrub for five hours. That's not the goal of this. Um, so the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda, I think, does work better than the baking soda and lemon. Okay, we're gonna try something else. I'm gonna bust out my Quad Zero steel wool pads. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna resort to the big kahuna is what we'll call it. On second thought, we're gonna skip the Steel Wool Quad Zero because this is more abrasive and I know we're gonna need something abrasive. So let's just dig in with the big kahuna, shall we? Now it's time to let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes or so, we're gonna come back. We're gonna go back in with our Brillo pad right here and fingers crossed, we got it done. All right, I'm really keeping it, my fingers crossed, everything crossed that this actually works. I'm gonna heat up the water to make sure it's nice and warm. And let's watch, hopefully some magic.
All right, you guys, you saw that I was scrubbing there for quite some time. In fact, like I worked up a sweat, <laughs> not lying about that one. Okay, it's coming up. You can see right here, it's more of that silver color. Um, that's some leftover gunk. Let me do this, let me get an old towel so I can show you. Look at that water, disgusting. So it's coming up, but like I'm putting a lot of time into an elbow grease into getting this up right here. You guys, here's my personal opinion. One, don't let your sheep hands get this nasty. <laughs> don't be like me. The other thing that I would do, oh, let me tell you what I put on here. Easy off, easy off oven cleaner. I've seen somebody else do this, and but the pans were not nearly as bad as mine were. Of all the options that I've done, this did work the best. In fact, I probably left this on for 45 minutes, so longer than I anticipated. The fume free was good. I'm in a small space here in the bathroom, I have a well ventilated area, uh, but of all the spaces that you could do this, this is the best. So here's my recommendation. Don't let your pans get this disgusting. I'm showing you all these methods here because if your pans look like mine, it's probably not coming off with any of the things that I have done here. And these are all the things that I have seen on the internet already. Guys, go out and buy yourself a new sheet pan. This is Target's website. Two for 20 bucks, one for 10 bucks. There's so many options here. I hate to be wasteful, $8.99 for a sheet pan like this. Guys, what is this one? Aluminum Naturals baking for $5.99. I would cut costs somewhere else in your life if you're wanting a clean pan like this and just go buy a new pan and never let it get filthy and grimy like this ever again because this is way too much work to clean and scrub and spend the next. I could probably, guys, I could probably get this magic silver color if I spend probably another hour and a half, two hours scrubbing these pans, not to mention, having to get up in these little creases right here, uh, the sides here, this this would be nuts, you guys. This channel is cleaning and organizing for busy women. <laughs> so if you can, just just go buy yourself a new, a new sheet pan. All right, I know this was not the reveal that we were hoping for here. I was hoping for something better. Can't believe everything that you see on the internet. Again, it depends upon how dingy your pans are to begin with, and mine was really bad. So baby, if yours doesn't look like this, some of these other methods would have worked for you. All right. Sign up for the newsletter in my description box where I teach you how to turn your passion into profit and cleaning and organizing your house can be just that. Thumbs up, subscribe. See you, my friend, in the next one.